What's going on, guys? My name is I'm Madness. I'm professional Apex Legends player for Counter Logic Gaming, otherwise known as COG. And today I'm going to be taking my professional experience, help all of you effectively gain RP this season, regardless of your skill level. So with that being said, let's get started. So before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, please be sure to hit subscribe and like the video if you are new. I have a ton of guides planned to come out throughout season eight from getting through rank to rank to finding out the best legends and guns to be using. There's just a whole lot of guides and content that are already coming out this season. So if that interests you and you want to maximize your game and want to learn to be the best player you can, subscribe to get more of that content that'll be coming soon. So to get into it, we're going to start with the very first tip that I'm going to to have for season eight and that first tip is going to be to identify your drop spot and what i mean by that is find a location that you're comfortable with and know the main loot locations of it it's going to be very important to know and have a place that you're comfortable being in and fighting around as well as knowing the loot so that way if you do get contested early off drop you know the best way to land and fight for that spot it's also important to know if you're looking to maximize your rp gains in the season all of the new landing locations that will be in king's canyon are going to be heavily contested the first few weeks of season eight it always happens this way anytime a new poi is added to the game that it's going to be very very contested for a lot of players that don't really care too much about ranked or they're just going to all land in one spot and it's going to make it really, really tough for you to get out alive. So unless you're up for that challenge, I recommend staying away from the new POIs in rank unless you see that there's no one going there from the dropship. So for tip number two, we're going to talk about fighting. And what I mean by fighting is the most efficient way to maximize your RP gain in rank. It's also important to know that a few changes have been made to the rank dynamic. That being the KP max was lifted from five six so you can get more of a multiplier there as well as you're going from i think about 7.5 seconds on an assist timer after dealing damage to 10. if you shoot an enemy and your teammate knock them within 10 seconds you'll get a kp count for that also for those that don't know kp stands for kill point so now you're getting the best strategy to be efficiently gaining consistent rp from my experience the best way to gain rp consistently is to try to take an early fight as early as you possibly can whether it be landing someone landing on you or whether it be someone landing in a poi next to you it's very important to get 3kp early in the game because on a map like king's canyon even though the size was slightly increased it is still a significantly smaller map than world's edge and with that being said third parties are disgustingly prominent in the first few weeks of the split so it's very very important that you get kp as early as possible and take a fight as soon as you can because the third parties are already going to be swarming in and you want to be able to get the kills get out or be ready for the next fight after you've successfully gained some kp in the very early game you want to look for a good rotation in the zone to get to a spot where you think the zone is going to be ending and hold that spot down and don't worry about being at the max kp counter because you're guaranteed to pick up another three or four at the end of the game if you're able to survive and be the team that wins and even if you don't manage to close out the game with a win don't worry you'll still end up being in positive rp from getting that early kills and getting the placement this from my experience is the most efficient way to be consistently gaining rp and it's what all the top rp grinders do at least on pc next we're going to be moving on to the third tip which is team composition For the most part team comp is truly really lenient at a higher level of play most really high-end players can really play whatever they want and still be able to gain but there is still benefits to running the more effective characters and these characters that are most efficient i would say is your wraith gibby bloodhound and caustic some other characters that you can swap out as well if you feel more comfortable on them would be either crypto or pathfinder in addition if you have trouble getting loot off drop loba can be a great alternative as well and i mean that seriously because you can land and get ult, a loba ult down which allows you to pick up a close armor and any weapon and then pick up the ammo for it as well so if you're landing in a low loot concentration poi or if you're contested a lot with loba it allows you to get a good gun and armor off the rip really early which can really make the difference in winning the fights that you have to take so for this part you can really do what you're most comfortable with but if you really want to maximize 
your RP gains, I recommend going with any of the four listed characters above or swapping out the few the others that I listed as well. Leaving out the Mirages, Octanes, Bangalores, stuff like that. And again, please understand that this is all subjective. If you truly, truly feel comfortable playing that character, at the end of the day, play whatever you want. This is just what I recommend from a professional standpoint as to what will help you gain most efficiently. So moving on to the fourth tip is going to be your weapon. It's very, very important to practice and be prepared with your favorite weapon and to always be trying to improve your aim with them. This can be done as simple as warming up with those weapons and fire range. Or if you really are serious about improving and taking another step, I created an aim trainer guide that works with both controller and mouse and key. And in that video, I talk about the way to utilize this aim trainer to best increase your skills and aiming ability for Apex Legends. So if you're interested in that the link will be down in the description because at the end of the day being able to outgun someone and out aim someone is the core of apex legends and this will make rp gaining miles easier if you're unsure of what weapons you think you should best use and you don't really have a particular favorite once season eight is released i will be creating a weapon tier list that you guys will be able to check in on so if that's something you're interested in finding out subscribe to get that content in the near future as i think it can help a lot of players that don't really know what kind of gun they should be using and the last and final tip that i have for season eight rank this is gonna be your squad and what i mean by that is the squad that you play with is the most important part of gaining rp in any ranked split or even season. Finding friends or players that you're able to not only have fun with and have good vibes with, but also care about ranking up is essential to having a good, enjoyable experience in rank. Now, I understand this may not be that easy for solo players. So what I suggest for any solo players out there is anytime you're in a game and you find a player that's actively communicating or you feel like you get along with, there's a good vibe there, invite them after the game and make a friend group to play with. It may take a bit to find a group or even another player that you can team up with, and that's going to happen. But even just finding a duo that you can play with will really help not only gain more RP, but make the experience a lot more enjoyable and you'll have a lot more fun grinding. So that's gonna be all five tips that I have for you guys to maximize your RP gains and how to efficiently rank up in season eight apex legends ranked if you found any of the tips helpful in any sort of way and want to see more future guides about how to rank up individually per rank or weapon and character guides in the future please subscribe and comment down below letting me know what you'd like to see and i'll be excited to do those in the near future also please check back with me if you watch this video and let me know if it helped you in any way to gain more rp this season because i'd really like to know if this was able to help anybody with that being said i appreciate you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all soon